Just at the memorial of the first female anchor, that is the veteran anchor Catherine Kasavuli. She died on 29th of December last year and she's expected to be buried on January 14th at her home in Zululu village. I want us now to go to Nyeri, uh, Nyeri and speak to our reporter Clement Masombo, who is on standby to tell us about e-learning for young pupils in Nyeri. Clement, good morning. Good morning to you, Fatia. Indeed, we are coming to you live from uh, Nyeri County, where there is uh, that workshop uh, that has been uh, organized by the stakeholders at the Dedan Kimathi University of Technology. And uh, it is uh, all about uh, providing, uh, uh, actually introducing the primary school learners as well as the uh, teachers to the uh, technology and, uh, and matters to do with the e-learning. And speaking to some of the stakeholders earlier on, they were saying that uh, this is a very important component, especially to learners, to the CBC learners in the lower grades, of that uh, this will offer uh, a good opportunity for them in terms of their future careers. And uh, right now, I want to speak to some of the stakeholders who are here for that uh, particular training and see what they have to say about... Uh, let, me, le let me actually get to one of them from uh, this training. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Kuria, for speaking to us uh, live on KTN News. We are, we are sorry for taking you, uh, interrupting your program. Uh, okay. But uh, okay. we understand that this is a, a workshop that brings together stakeholders and uh, primary school teachers, as well as uh, learners, especially those in CBC classes. How important is this uh, training to learners and the teachers? Now, thank you very much for that question. So I'm um, Dr. Kuria from the Institute of Geomatics. GIS and remote sensing, where I lecture. I also double up as the head of the remote sensing research group. And one of the pillars of the university is uh, uh, research and also collaborations with the communities, community outreach. So in as far as that is concerned, we try to identify some gaps or some challenges in the in the community and try and address them from a research perspective so one of the things that you've noted is the degradation of the abadea ecosystem and particularly this area where we are at called the moringato catchment it's here in Nyeri. so what we did we came together with the stakeholders that was back in 2020 we wrote a research grant uh, together with the university of bochum that is in Germany, and we got a grant from the German government to undertake the research to monitor the Abadea ecosystem and how it has been changing. So we have been doing that since the year 2020, where we monitored how it has been changing. Uh, since 1990, monitoring how the forest has been, de has been degrading and so on. Now, the purpose right now is to see how can we convert these findings, research findings, how can we be able to share these findings in a way that they can be impactful to the communities? And that's why we decided to organize this workshop where we started yesterday actually with the learners from the grade four and grade five. And today we are having the teachers from the schools within the Moringato. We are now, we are telling them that these are the findings. This is how the forest has been changing. This is how the ecosystem has been changing. And now we want to incorporate that to the learners so that we can incorporate it, incorporate it into the already existing curriculum, and that is the CBC. Uh, so we see how we can incorporate our findings into this CBC. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Very briefly, sir, let me engage you in maybe just seconds. As a teacher, how important is this uh, program to you as a teacher to your learners and the school at large so thank you very much i as a teacher i have appreciated the seminar that have been uh, be taking place between the learners and the university yesterday and the teachers today because cbc is very instrumental and it needs learners to be having first had information personal experience with what is going on the ground yesterday we had an, a, a very uh, interactive segment with the learners and also the lecturers and also visitors from uh, germany and also from case sa who did teach the learners how to analyze data and this is very instrumental bearing in mind that kenya is suffering a drought disaster which has not been experienced in the past 40, uh, 40 years. So this is very key because the learners will be able to identify the challenges that are facing the country and also after uh, analyzing these challenges they'll have solution and also 
this bearing in mind that we put this fact into the learners, they will be very passionate when they are also conserving the environment and also the natural resources that we have as a country. So having said that, I wish to appreciate the fact that the universities bearing in mind they are in the catchment areas, they can be used to improve their environment. And that is very good and we are very grateful. So allow me just to pass uh, a greeting to my son who has a birthday today. Thank you very much. All right. Danisha. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, Fatia, you've uh, heard from the stakeholders here and uh, they are saying that this is just a way of equipping the learners at an early stage with the skills in combating the effects of climate change. Remember, this is a thing that has uh, affected the country and the world at large, of course, and we have been